All right. Hi, I'm Maz from Hidoko, and we empower perfection in human movement. We've created smart compression suits with embedded sensors to capture the full body movement and guide every sports enthusiast during training. Today, only some elite athletes have access to motion capture to help them with their performance, like Usain Bolt. In 2009, he used mocap to fine-tune his sprinting technique, which helped him break his own world record in the 100-meter dash. Trainer Tom House recently used that same technology to adjust the mechanics of Tom Brady's throw. But as a motion capture expert myself, I know that this is what these guys have to deal with. Mocap has to be done in an enclosed environment with very complex equipment, making it even more difficult to use outside on the field on a daily basis. And there are hundreds of thousands of athletes and trainers that need access to this technology, not only to get real-time biomechanical feedback to help them improve, but also to prevent some injuries before they happen. And wearables on the market cannot give them that because they simply focus on biometrics, not biomechanics. There's no way of telling if you're doing your squats correctly by just tracking your heartbeat rate. That's why I married my expertise in motion capture with my passion for sports to create Hidoko, a system that makes motion capture completely wireless and mobile, and all you have to do really is wear it, connect to it, and start training. Can we get a camera on Lisa, please? So the suit is made of a breathable material, and it's embedded with two types of sensors, the capsules that you see here, and smart fabric sensors within the garments. We fuse the data from these sensors on the brain to measure the full body movement within two degrees of accuracy, which, makes, which allows us to model that movement in 3D, analyze that data, and give actionable, real-time feedback to the user, just as Lisa will prove it here. Can we go back to the demo, please? All right, we're ready. Try to give her a round of applause. She's been practicing this for a week to impress you guys. All right, ready? We're set. So she's going to throw a football. She steps into it, throws a Hail Mary, and touchdown. <laughs> you could see her full body motion during the throw, the speed of her elbow as she released the ball, but most importantly, she's getting feedback on how to adjust her elbow position to optimize the speed of her throw. And this is just a snapshot of what we can do. We created a web dashboard for teams to analyze movements during training. Now, here is an example of a football player recording 150 football throws during a training session. And we're looking at the angular velocity of his elbow, which is an indicator of the quality of his throw. And we could clearly see that over time, the degradation of that quality due to fatigue. Now, this is directly flagged to the trainers to know when to stop or when an injury is most likely to occur. That same data could be used as a baseline for rehabilitation. When a player is injured, we compare his baseline to his current state to gauge the rate of his rehab and help trainers adjust the intensity of the return to play protocols. What we see here is the evolution of the quality of the throw of an injured football player over multiple weeks and the percentage of his rehab compared to his baseline. It's a full training system. Now, we know that this kind of technology could be used in many applications, but elite sports performance is our beachhead market, and we're focusing on professional and semi-professional leagues to help us build credibility as we later target the amateur audience. And we're already building that momentum by working with NHL, NBA trainers, Canadian Olympic athletes and coaches, and many more in the medical and rehab fields. And we sell the suits as development kits to our Tier 1 partners currently and offer them customizations to the software based on their needs. Not to mention that we're currently building a mobile application for all amateur athletes that is coming soon for all amateur athletes like myself to benefit from all this and help them unleash their full potential. Vince Lombardi once said that perfection is unattainable. But if you chase perfection, you can catch excellence. And we aim to be the standard in movement perfection to bring to life the next generation of devices to move better, train better, and therefore live better. Thank you. Great.
Judges, Dr. Berger, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, so how robust are the sensors? I mean, let's think about this now. You see lots of variations in physiological conditions in individuals based upon heart rate, sweat, body temperature, etc. So how can you convince us that these will stand the test of time during competition? Um, well, there's what we combine on the suit itself, the two types of sensors that we're combining is what makes the suit itself unique. Uh, there are many motion capture devices that are available on the market, but that combination, that specific combination, is part of the IP that we're bringing to the table. It's what's new about it. So when one, uh, what you see in terms of drift uh, with the current uh, IMU sensors and all that, we compensate it with a second type of sensors that we have on the suit that is integrated, embedded into it too. Uh, and we're already working with, uh, with uh, uh, varsity teams, uh, local performance centers at Montreal, uh, working on validating this and comparing it also to the current uh, motion capture system like uh, optical motion capture system and uh, Vicon. Right, example. but do you see change in your data based upon physiological conditions, a change? Uh, there is, there is, and the suit is made for multiple different sizes. So, and the, the, uh, the software itself is made to be adjustable so that it takes into account those kind of changes. Uh, the most important part on the suit itself is getting the sensors to uh, be on a specific position as opposed to moving when uh, the user has a bigger size or, or is larger. Than, than others. Tell us a little bit about the nitty gritty of how you're going to make money on this <laughs> and what the business model looks like as you scale to the consumer. Absolutely. Uh, well, this is, to be honest, this is one of the challenges we, that we have currently because we're getting solicited by so many different markets at the same time that it makes it a little bit difficult to focus on one single market at a time. And we chose sports mainly because of our passion first and then uh, we are, we're going because it is the ultimate testing ground, as, uh, as you guys said. It's, it's where the first test will happen, and this is where we will be able to validate uh, the market with uh, those sensors. Um, what we're working on right now is we're selling development kits, so we're selling the hardware, uh, but we don't want to be really stuck to only uh, selling hardware, be a hardware company. We also have the software, we also provide customizations, and we also uh, give um, uh, <coughs> services uh, on, a on a subscription basis uh, that we're evaluating currently as a business model. Can you talk a little bit more about your partnerships at this point and uh, how you're pursuing those? I mean, you know, golfers will buy anything that's <laughs> So have you, you talked to golf about uh, how high my elbow is or isn't? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, again, this is one of the challenges we have. The solicitation from different markets is, is very high. Uh, what we're focusing really on is the baseline. So uh, what, we, what we call the uh, movement screening uh, for evaluation of the athletes. This is what the first market that we're going after, and this is why we're going after the elite uh, mm -hmm. performance first. Uh, and this is kind of a common denominator with many sports at a time, where they do the functional movement screening at the beginning of the season and then at the end of the season. And this is our very, very niche first target market and we approach them as a business to business so we go directly to the leagues we talk to them we show them the demo if uh, they're same thing with uh, with uh, with the coaches that we talk to we have a, a base of a database of all, over 45 internal data beta testers uh, that we work with on a daily basis testing the, uh, the user experience plus uh, the hardware itself what about um, patents IP technological uh, know-how obviously absolutely so uh, all uh, Everything that is surrounding the uh, hardware itself, uh, the algorithms on uh, the brain pack and the algorithms off the brain pack is something that we've, we're patenting. It's patent pending. Uh, and also the design of uh, the positions of the sensors too. And we're actually, this you can see, you know, the suit is bulky a little bit, uh, but that's the current generation of development kits that we're working with. But these are the sensors, the new sensors that will come into the next generation. So that's the capsule, if you're able to see it, <laughs> make it seamless. And that is actually the sensor that goes inside of it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I lose it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you make sure that, you know, if, as you start at the elite level, yeah. 
with arguably you know some of the highest performance demands mm -hmm. that you don't end end there as well. I mean, how do you how do you it's, scale? Um, this? Uh, right now, we're 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 kind of having a, a internal development force to. Uh, evaluate the possible user experiences for amateur athletes. So part of uh, part of our UX testing basically goes with uh, any amateur athletes. We did surveys with hundreds and thousands of uh, of, uh, of athletes to know what exactly they want to see in an application like this, in order to be able to later on transform what we learned from the from the elite uh, to put it in an actual application in what's a simplified way. What's the stickiest idea here? What's the thing that people? athletes, if you will, or the general population is going to say, I have to have that. That's important. Very, very quickly, please. Absolutely. Injury prevention. Uh, for the elite, is injury prevention and uh, performing better for the amateur athletes like myself. All right. So we're out of time. Great presentation. Thank you. That was Hidoko. Yep. I got it.